Happy Tuesday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here, Darius Dell, to present our Macro Minute for Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. As always, we'll start with the executive summary from today's lead-off morning note. Uh, if you would like to view the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what to specifically do about them in your portfolio, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So today's key macro event is mixed signals on inflation. The nuance there is the February CPI report added to the damage or added to the damage to the immaculate disinflation narrative caused by the January CPI report, which also featured broad-based accelerations in inflation momentum. Elsewhere, the February NFIB Small Business Optimism Survey supported the soft landing scenario at the expense of the no landing scenario via multi-year low readings for the preponderance of inflation and labor market indices. In terms of market implications. Uh, the Fed required more good data prior to that release to begin cutting rates. This second consecutive misstep in CPI risks a hawkish revision to the dot plot next Wednesday. Elsewhere, both the February NFIB survey and the New York Fed's Consumer Inflation Survey support our expectation for immaculate disinflation to persist over the next one to two quarters. The recent volatility in CPI and PCE deflator statistics gives us incremental confidence that immaculate disinflation is likely to end with inflation bottoming at an unpalatable level for policymakers, thus requiring a hawkish policy pivot by the Fed and or Treasury in the second half of 2024. Transitioning to uh, our 42 macro dashboard here. We got one uh, oversold, overbought signal. It's an overbought signal here uh, in DBA, which is the uh, agricultural uh, ETF. So be aware of that. Uh, obviously, we continue to see uh, inflation. Uh, so you're starting to see build up in price momentum and things like energy, things like agriculture. You really start to see the base metals as well. So again, the, the the narrative around inflation could be very different three to six months from now, uh, which is our expectation. Uh, but for now, again, you don't necessarily have to uh, be too concerned about that from a, from a broader uh, risk uh, perspective um, in terms of um, in terms of the macro disinflation narrative likely persisting uh, throughout most of that time horizon. And then lastly, representing our uh, sorry, uh, ending with a um, <clears throat> question from our uh, community chat uh, reads, uh, I Darius, I'm particularly interested in understanding how your models might be interpreted or adapted by individual traders who engage in speculation uh, in daily, weekly spot and futures and other derivatives such as CFDs. Uh, thank you for considering this quest, regardless of your decision. Please know that your work continues to be a source of education and inspiration for many. So uh, first, thank you for uh, the kind uh, feedback there. Uh, and so uh, we have, uh, you know, in terms of, um, you know, how to help investors in terms of the elements of our work that are most are going to be most productive for investors uh, that are engaging in sort of real short term tactical speculation. Uh, it's really uh, through the guise of our quantitative risk management signals, uh, the most recent, most notably our crowding model and our positioning or sorry, and our probable range model. Uh, generate signals that are tend to be resolved uh, in a, un, a one month or less time horizon. Uh, our positioning model uh, it can create some pretty powerful signals as well from a tactical standpoint. Uh, and then broadly speaking, we think it's very important that investors, if you're even if you're a short term investor, you generally want to orient your uh, your trading activity or your risk management activity, your portfolio construction activity in accordance with the market regime. Uh, as you know, our global macro risk matrix is the primary tool is, is the tool that we use to now cast the market regime. And uh, we've been in Goldilocks primarily uh, for the most part since uh, since about mid November. Uh, we had a cup of coffee and reflation a few weeks ago, but that since has transpired back to Goldilocks. So you know, if you want to, you know, when you're in Goldilocks, do Goldilocks things in, in terms of your uh, your trading. You buy you buy risk assets on dip. You sell defensive assets on rips. When you're in reflation, you do reflation like things. When you're in inflation, which is a risk off regime, you do inflation like things in terms of your trading activity. And when you're in deflation, you do deflation like things. You never want to be caught with your pants down on the wrong side of market risk, no matter if you're a short term trader or if you're a long term investor. Both of those things with respect to making money, and particularly if you're on the buy side in terms of staying on the right side of market risk and staying in your seat. You know, you're definitely going to want to be uh, respectful of the market regime, what's driving the market regime, how long those drivers are likely to persist, when the drivers are going to change, because ultimately that'll give you a peek into the future when the regime change is likely to change and what it's likely to change into. And that's the entire basis of our fundamental research, our, our macro risk management process in a nutshell is what's the market regime? What, what are our signals from a qualitative uh, research standpoint or from a quantitative signaling standpoint telling us about the sustainability or the durability of that market regime? And if it's just signaling that it's like unlikely to be durable over an investable time horizon, then let's, let's do the research 
uh, we are already doing the research, but what are, what elements of our research support, you know, kind of an anticipation, anticipating uh, what the regime is likely to change into and when is it likely to change? And if you consistently do that over and over again, you're going to stay on the right side of market risk, generally speaking. And um, and that that's the name of the game here uh, as an institutional macro risk manager. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, Darius Dell presenting our macro minute uh, for Tuesday, March 12th, uh, 2024. Everyone have a wonderful day out there. Uh, best of luck. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Cheers.